Hello, uh, says hi, Silverfire, aka Joshua, um, and I am bringing you great tidings of something. Uh, the Virtuoso, which has been out for it's about a week or so now, um, has a mod. Um, has, as of right now, is is only for the PC version. Um, and I'm going to show you how to install it, uh, how to use it on, uh, on Windows for the Oculus version of it. Uh, the Steam version would be very similar. You would just install things into the Steam folder as opposed to the Oculus folder. So, um, <clears throat> this mod has tacit approval from the devs in that they freely answered questions posed by the developer of the mod as to how things worked in the app, how to do this, how to do that, and he was able, he worked with the developers to get this mod working. And what this mod does is it lets you import your own custom patches and samples into Virtuoso so that you can use them. Which is really cool because that expands what you can do and the instrument that you have to do it with. So, with no further ado, let me show you what you need to do this bot. First of all, um, you need to come here to GitHub. Unless you are in the Discord, um, and the um, I've got it up on the screen there, the, the Discord address um, or URL. If you are not a member of the Discord, I highly recommend it because there are conversations, uh, songs shared, all sorts of stuff, encouragement, uh, virtual jams going on. So. It's a very fun place to be, and I highly recommend it. But if you are not in there, you would come to so this GitHub page. So github.com slash void p, which is v0idp slash cspl. And I will uh, have the link to this um, in the description of the video as well. It's just, CSPL, it means the custom samples and patches loader. It's a pretty straightforward name. <laughs> and you might also want to head over here and grab Helm, which is the synthesizer that the Virtuoso uses internally. So um, this looks like this if you download it. Uh, it's got a lot of parameters to play with. I'm not going to go into that here. That's not what this is about. Um, where you can make truly unique sounds and then export it right there. Um, or you can just take uh, the preset that this is, it comes with and transport them over. Or you can do a search and find free Helm uh, synthesizer presets to download and and import into Virtuoso. So be warned, not every preset that you uh, that you find or that you make is necessarily going to work well within Virtuoso. I tried importing one that I found online and it didn't come across quite as well in the app as it did uh, within Helm itself. So there may be some experimentation needed. Um, but be that as it may, how do you do this? Well, um, what you do, first of all, let me pull up the folders here so you can see. All right. Um, First of all, uh, I said I was going to show you the Oculus location, so you would go C, 
Windows program files, Oculus, software, software, fast travel games, it, it, slash AB, or dash AB, dash Virtuoso, and that brings you to the Virtuoso directory. So, so this is what it looks like after you have the mod installed, which is just simply a matter of, um, uh, coming over here, downloading the zip file right there under releases, and then um, unzipping that directly into the Virtuoso directory. So, and that gives you the, the BEP in X folder, the import folder, doorstop config INI, and win HTTP.dll. Um, if you ever decide in the future that you want to disable the mod and not use it anymore, simply rename this file uh, to say underscore win HTTP, and that will make the mod not load. Now, one caveat is with this mod active, you will not be able to upload to the community library. Per the dev's request, the developer of the mod disabled community library uploads uh, to prevent possible breaking other people's games because that they downloaded your save file, which has all these mods in it. Um, that may be an excess of, of caution and not really needed. It may not be. We don't know at this point. They just will want to play it safe and make sure that you can't risk to, to breaking someone else's game just by doing this. So until they are sure of what's going on and how stable it is, you won't be able to upload to the community library. You can still save your files locally and you can still save it to the cloud within the app. Just won't be shared in the community library. Um, <clears throat> so, how do you get your patches into here? Well, open up import, open up patches. As you can see, I've got one in there. This is that one I mentioned that didn't quite play well in Virtuoso. Uh, but moving or so getting a file in there is super easy. All you need to do is look for your Helm files on your computer, which if you have Helm installed are by default in your documents folder, Helm, and then look at patches. And these are the ones that it comes with right here. So, see, let's, um, let's grab a base one in there, why not? Let's, uh, let's try Terra Base 1. I haven't played it, I haven't listened to it. Just click and drag it over. Boom. That's all it takes. And if the mod is installed, properly next time you load up Virtuoso, this will be available on organ, board, W harp, Waveman, all those instruments that you can suspend through and get the different different instruments, it'll be available there. But it won't be available on the empaths because that is here under samples. So here you want to, um, and I haven't done this yet, but you want a wave file that is an effect, a drum, uh, a sound. You know, you, you could go into Audacity and record yourself going boom, and then add extra effects to it or whatever, and then start bringing it into here as a custom sound to trigger with the M-pads in the game. You can also, because of how this mod works, make a new folder here, and 
give it whatever name you want, say um, crazy, you know, and put a wave file in there, and then you have a new group that will be visible on the impads. So a new drum t to pull out instead of saying say adding whatever wave file t to one of the existing ones. Now I don't have anything to put in there right now, so I'm going to get rid of that because I don't know how it'll handle an empty folder. <laughs> <laughs> so, but th that's the basics of how you do it, is you um, go and just you know, drag and drop it over, and then open Virtuoso on your computer, and it's all good. Now, I have not yet um, installed the new uh, the new version of the mod yet uh, I have the original version which had a slight problem in that if the helm file were missing um, some information in it like the, the patch name and the folder name it would then have every every instrument field within the game show instrument name and there wouldn't be anything there so he changed it so that it gives it um a patch name and a folder name if it is missing that in internally uh to show you what i mean by that uh um, how you can check that if you really want to is you can take one of these, drag it in to Notepad. See here it has it says patch name and it says folder name. If it didn't have those, it caused an error before. So, uh, so because I don't have that installed yet, let me go and show you the process of installing it real quick. So, there we go. Yeah. Shh. Sh 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 don't tell WinRAR that I'm, sh I'm doing it this way. Sh so, i uh, just extract two. Navigate down to where you are just extracting it to. I know showing you all my computer now, sorry. Software, software, fast travel games. Hit okay. Yes to all for the replacing. Close this, new version installed. So, there you have it. That's all that it takes and it's installed. So now you watched me install um, a patch and you saw that I already had one in there. So now bear with me real quick while I remove my headset and I put on, or some of my headphones and I put on my, my headset so that I can jump in and show you real quick. So be right back. There we go, heads it on. Give me one second. Test, 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 test. Okay, that works, all right, good. Sorry about that. Um, 
switching virtual desktop on uh, took the audio away from this. So <laughs> my bad. My apologies. We'll edit that out. No, we won't. So let's get virtual also open here. Dang, those keep switching places on me. <clears throat> get with. And now let's. There we go. And that looks not quite. And it's good enough. Okay. Looks like I'm not hearing any game audio though, but that's okay. That that's fine. It they should be passing it through, but it's not. You hopefully you'll be able to hear it. Now, let me come over here real quick. Turn that to make sure that's on. Okay. So as you can see, it's board and. Here's Wob Step D, which I put in there, and the COA Terror Base. So, that's what that sounds like. Wob Step D sounds like this. So, there you have it. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? So, now you too can go out and install Helm presets to your heart's content and be able to access them and be able to use them. It may take some some playing around and whatnot, but you know what to do. And remember, feel free to join the Virtual of Discord, which is up there again, um, and come hang out with us. Ask us questions, we'll answer them and have fun. Bye.